I don't know why I didn't say anything for this whole part, but pretty much what I'm trying to do here is turn off Windows Defender. Because since jailbreaks technically are like malware, because it takes advantage of iOS's like vulnerabilities, it removed the app files. So then it said it wasn't recognized or something. So I had to plug in my USB that had all my jailbreaks on it. So then I could sideload it onto my iPhone. So now it's jailbroken with um, <clears throat> Cydia. And all I'm going to be doing is installing this thing called KDFU, which pretty much puts it the device into download mode, like what Android does. So I'm going to install that, and should, uh, we should be good. All right, so it has started. And I don't know how long it's going to take, so I'm just going to let this sit. And then I'm going to come back and set it up. So. So for the rest of the video, I keep trying like different things to get it to work. I forgot that you have to downgrade the version of three tools, which is the software I'm using to flash the IPSW for iOS 6 onto. All right, so it is done now. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through the setup and then I'm gonna jailbreak it and then show you guys it tomorrow, so. Alright, signed in. And use iCloud. Back up to iCloud. I I wanted to do it to my, my computer. Uh use find my enable. As you can see, I'm now on 6.1.3. So I'm gonna jailbreak it and install some tweaks. So, like, so here's the phone. I downgraded iPhone 4S that's jailbroken and has a bunch of games on it. I'm very happy with how this turned out and definitely was worth the time <clears throat> and money spent on buying this phone. So it does run iOS 6 very smoothly as it's one of the last phones to support it, aside from the iPhone 5. So thanks for watching.